Yeah, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's discuss Google Alerts. Google Alerts are useful tools for getting information. There are notifications from the internet delivered to your email based on your request. And the beautiful thing is that these are free. The main requirement you need is a Google account, such as a Gmail account. What are the steps involved in generating your Google Alerts? You go to your Google page. We're on the Google landing page now, and you type in www.google.com forward slash alerts, and then you hit the enter button. Now, you can see there is a ribbon showing alerts. So this is a page where you create your Google Alerts. Um, eventually, we have in mind to work on something related to teenage pregnancy. Pregnancy. You can notice as I'm typing, it's showing me a preview of likely topics. That's one way to go, but that's not where we're going. Below the typing, the materials I'm typing, you will notice there are two buttons that have just appeared. The first one is the Create Alerts button, and the other one is the Show Options button. Um, move to the Show Options button and click on the triangle pointing downwards. It gives you a drop-down menu. On this drop-down menu are six buttons. How often? Sources. Language. Region. How many? Delivered to. Now, the first one is how often do you want the information fed into your email? You move to the right-hand side, you notice there is an arrow, one of the arrows, you just click on them, on one of them, it, show, it brings up another set of three buttons, as it happens. If you select as it happens, you have too much information overload. If you select at most once a day, you also have much because you'll be getting this email on a daily basis, which will not be too wise for you. The best bet is to select at most once a week. At most once a week means you'll be receiving the mail every week until you're tired of the information. Then um, sources, you have automatic by default. Automatic has been selected. If you click on one of the arrows there, you'll notice there are other sources you may want your information to come from. Do you want it from news, general news? Do you want it from blogs, from the web? from a video, from books, but I rather will select automatic where it's, you found it already. Then the language, by default, again, it selects English for you. But depending on what you are trying to query, you could select other information, um, languages specifically. So, but I want it to remain on English. Then the region, the button indicating region show that, uh, shows that you have several other buttons from different countries, such as uh, United States, Afghanistan, Albania, Algeria, and so on and so forth. Again, I would rather we leave this for any region. Then how many, how many of these results do you want to be fed to your email? If you click on this arrow, you notice there are two buttons that show up. Only the best results, all results. If you select all results, you have so much more than you can uh, uh, really manage. So it's best you select only the best results so you can filter the best result for you. And then the last thing to select is where do you want it delivered to? Like I told you when we started, you need to get a, a Google account. This is my Google account. So you want it to be delivered here and then you click on create alerts. After a short while, you'll notice teenage pregnancy has already been selected and created for you. So what it means is that the time is now 9.45 p.m. Today is Friday, the 19th day of August 2022 here in Nigeria. This time next week, Friday, at the same 9.45 p.m., you will receive this information onto this mail, carefully delivered for you. That's the beauty of Google Alerts. It gives you information that's at your fingertips, and you can use it to do your research. These are other Google Alerts I had selected, I had created over the past several months. I've been doing this for a long while, and it has been very beneficial to me. So I encourage you to do the same and go on to enjoy your research. If you like watching this video, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification button to enable you to receive updates from us from time to time whenever we release any of our videos. Thank you very much.